What's up, everybody? It's Merman Mike. I'm out here with my beautiful fiance Natasha. Hi. And we're out here at Red Bridge today, or Fair Oaks Bridge, as some of you guys might know it. But uh, yeah, look, I'm super excited. The water's super calm today. There's a little bit of a current, but it doesn't look like it's too bad. Um, and there's not really anybody out here. We haven't been out here for a little bit, so who knows what's down there under the water. If you guys have never been to my channel before, what I like to do is I go down to the local lakes and rivers, sometimes not so local. I try to find anybody's lost valuables to return back to them, and I also try to clean up all the trash while I'm down there because I thoroughly believe you can't just go for the treasure. You have to get the trash too. But I'm not going to waste too much more of you guys' time up here. I'm going to get in the water, see what we can find. If you guys are liking these videos, please remember to like, share, subscribe. Always helps me get back out here, make more videos for you guys, and get that much more trash out of the lakes and rivers. All right, guys, stay tuned. I'm gonna go with between five and ten. One more time. I saw a salmon. It was like half the size of me. Oh God, it scared me so bad. I'm also, I think at like number eight on golf balls. 
Here we go. Check this out. This might be one of the cooler things I've ever found. But look at inside of it. It's got a little baby elephant. Right? I thought that was so cool. Jeez. Those are some gnarly looking hooks. I guess if you saw the size of the fish I did, it makes sense. <laughs> I just came across the thing of nightmares. There was a dead fish on the bottom and there was like, I don't know, 50 crawdads on it, like swarming on it. Oh, all right, going back down. That was creepy. Oh, no. <laughs> 
Lord. Oh, no. I'm gonna... 
All right, guys, so this is Craig. He was pulling up while we were getting ready or getting done and whatnot. If you turn around, we saw the sticker on the back of his truck, and we were like, hey, that's this nice sticker. And he's like, hey, I've been meaning to get a hold of you. I actually lost my fishing pole holder from my kayak, and I had him show me what it looked like if you see it over here. Yeah. I was like, there's no way, but uh, that's it. This is it, <laughs> that man. It's too crazy. It's <laughs> awesome. Thank oh, you. You are so welcome. My pleasure. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, Perfect, next time feel man. free to get a hold of me. Yeah, I'll probably get it back to you sooner. <laughs> well, you know, it keeps going in my brain and out the other, you know. Gotta love it, everybody. You just never know what's gonna happen and you never know who you're gonna be able to return something to. Just absolutely insane timing. All right, guys, so usually I try to do my outros on the river or the lake or wherever I did my treasure hunt to kind of give homage to the place where I got it all and a uh, place that gave me so much fun and enjoyment to begin with. However, as you can see, our sun has disappeared behind the hill and you guys aren't gonna really get the best view of the treasures. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it home. I'm gonna set it all up in my gear room on this nice desk kind of thing we have. And then I'll show you guys there. I just wanted to kind of let you guys know that way you're not all of a sudden in a garage somewhere and panicking. <laughs> Anywho, stay tuned guys. As someone would if they just yeah, showed exactly. up in a garage. <laughs> Finally made it home, got all my gear put away and got all of our treasures laid out for you guys. And boy, howdy is there a lot. Um, yeah, let's just jump into them. I'm super excited. All right. We found an anchor. We got a tube of some sort. When I found this, a crawdad flew out of the top, scared the crap out of me. But uh, if you guys know what this is, please let me know in the comments. My guess is like a mortar tube for fireworks or something, which isn't the best because uh, highly illegal in California. So which is probably why I found it off the side of the bridge. Anywho, we got another uh, hydro flask. It's all filled up. Got a jar that I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm not really sure what kind of sledge is in there. But you guys take your best guess as to what you think this jar has in it. Got a binky I found on the walk back to the boat ramp. A baseball, got a full bag of worms and whatnot. Found not only one, but two bike chains. This one's actually containing the 50 golf balls we found, which is absolutely insane. Definitely a record for me. I'm super excited when I find golf balls because basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up some five gallon buckets, I'm gonna put some bows on them and then I'm gonna give them to my dad because he absolutely loves golf and he has a little driving range on his property that he just slaps golf balls into his neighbor's property and then he goes over there and hits them back and he has a bunch of fun doing it. So if I can get him some more golf balls to have some more fun, that's awesome. Anywho, let's continue. Oh, this found me. I thought this was crazy. So this is like a magnet actually. 
And what happened was I was going to empty my trash bag and it was actually on the outside of it, stuck to the can or something. So that was super crazy. It's super cool looking too though. I don't know why somebody would have a magnet out there, but it's there. Um, found a rechargeable, what is that? Lithium ion battery. We got a couple different motherboards or whatever they're called. Um, I'm not too techy or tech savvy, but check these out. I thought these were actually all of the same one, but now it's looking like they're different ones. That's crazy. Um, got a handle to somebody's little trolling motor. That must have not been a fun ride back to the boat ramp. Got a lock. I actually had to fight a couple crawdads that were trying to guard this with their lives. Don't worry, nobody was hurt. Um, found a mask. Found a disc golf frisbee. What is that? Innova Disc Golf Shark Mid-Range. There's no, sometimes, or actually a lot of the times, there'll be a name and a number on the back of these, but unfortunately not this one. We got a bunch of coins today. I have no idea. It looks like a bunch of nickels, a couple dimes and a penny or two. Uh, hotel card key. We found a regular key. Found a little salmon tag. Found a uh, super cheeky lighter. The other side's a little X-rated, so I won't show you that, guys. But, uh, yeah, check that out. Thought that was too cool. If it actually dries all the way up and is usable again, that'll be really cool. I almost flipped it over right there. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is like a tile or what this is for or why it was down there, but a little hexagon thing. Uh, found the screen to a phone. Just the screen, though. <laughs> Found a little nose clip at the beginning of the day and found a bunch of lures today with some crazy gnarly hooks. Check those out. Like this one's almost the size of my hand. It's almost bigger than the actual lure. But uh, some super cool lures. Got really cool ones right here and here. This one's ridiculously heavy. I don't know what they were going for with that. I don't know. With the size of the salmon I saw down there today, <laughs> these do make sense now that I'm thinking about it. I, I'm hoping I got it on camera, but I saw this massive salmon down there that was probably like half the size I am. And then there was just a bunch of fish down there today as well. And the most crawdads I've ever seen, ever, especially that crazy sea, like I, I saw this dead fish down there and it was just absolutely swarmed with crawdads. It looked like something out of a horror movie, but it was still super cool to me. Anywho, let's continue. Uh, found a little straw for something if you guys know what this straw is for i i think it's like mocha or mocha I, I forget what it's called but it's like an argentinian drink or at least when i worked at ski run all the argentinian people would drink them in the morning and whatnot they come in this like little cup and they always use the same straw but if you guys know what that's for please let me know in the comments we found three sunglasses today i couldn't find a name on any of them so or besides piranha um but yeah, the other ones look like possibly gas station pairs. Got a couple goggles today, found a lighter, found a new hat for my collection with a cool little quail on it. Got a ton of weights. I found this little pocket that had probably about half of these weights in it, and then I found the others just kind of scattered about. Got a couple vapes today and a vape coil. And then the find of the day, one of the coolest things I've found in a very long time. Check this out. Bam, look at that, everybody. It's like this hand-carved elephant, but like, if you look, I'm trying not to break it because I would cry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you look inside, I don't know if you can see it from the GoPro, but there's a little baby elephant inside of it. And I don't know if it's jade or what kind of material it's made out of, but it is the coolest thing. And like, I only saw probably about that much of it sticking out of the silt. And I was like, what kind of ball is that? And I grabbed it and out came this. If you guys know absolutely anything about this little guy or girl, um, please let me know in the comments. I absolutely love learning things about the treasures I find and especially if they have any sort of like cultural or religious kind of beliefs or meaning behind them. It's just, it's always fun for me to learn those kind of things. So if you guys know what this is, let me give you guys a real close look. If you guys know what this is, if you've ever seen it before, or if you just have any guesses, please let me know in the comments below. It is so cool. 
And then last but not least, like I do every single time, and I thoroughly believe, whoa. God, I'm gonna give this to you. Okay, let's try that again. We got all the trash that we came across today as well. We actually ended up saving a crawdad's life out of one of the bottles. Poor guy was stuck in the neck of the bottle and I had to use my knife to kind of break the neck of the bottle that way he can escape. He looked pretty happy. Um, but yeah, I always get the trash because like I thoroughly believe you can't just get the treasure. You have to get the trash too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, please, please, please remember to like, share, subscribe. It really does help me get out there, make more videos for you guys. Hopefully get that many more valuables back to their owners and that much more trash out of the lakes and rivers. But anywho, for me and my beautiful fiance, Natasha. Bye. Till next time, everybody. Take care. All right, guys. This is where the trash is supposed to be. Got it, it's trash day tomorrow. Oh. Till next time, everybody. Take care.